by an astronomer, calculated and put into this database, and then projected here so that we can conceptualize where they are. So we just kind of close this multi-billion year loop. Because we, like everything else in the universe, are a product of that bang. And that purple line going around the planet is the International Space Station. So for instance, I can turn up time and we can see all the satellites. I'll slow it back down. I'll go over here, I'll tilt down a bit, start to navigate towards the ISS, and then I'll fly into it. This is the guy I was talking to earlier, but he was telling me this is not the uh, worldwide telescope. Hi. Uh, this is um, a platform called Uniview, which is an interactive real-time visualization of NASA's Digital Universe Atlas, where it essentially allows us to simulate and visualize data at any scale of space, time, or frequency. Right now, we just zoomed into the International Space Station I can speed up time. And this is what the space station will look like when it's completed in a few years. But this gives us a view of how the ISS is traveling over the planet and what it might look like at sunrise here in just a second. This is like a planetarium, but you don't look up. You look forward like a theater, and it's, it's a circular screen. It's really phenomenal. I'm sure that they video that you're watching is flat but in the in this room we're in it's we're actually in a tent and it's a spherical it's very much inspired by flight simulators this type of environment has been around for a long time in the military to give people much better sense of peripheral vision so that you feel immersed inside of a space we're projecting into spherical perspective the system's called the geodome um, and we project into spherical perspective any real-time 3D interactive application that uses our libraries. And it essentially provides a way of having a much more natural visual immersion of any type of environment. And so instead of using stereo and glasses and all of that, we depend more on having a very big image that wraps around the users. And who are you, and uh, what's the company again? My name is David McConville. I'm the director of Neospheric Research at the Illuminati, which is E-L-U-M-E-N-A-T-I. It's at Illuminati.com. Yeah, this is a phenomenal technology. It's a little bit expensive for your own backyard use, though, isn't it? Right now it is. But actually, that's coming down really rapidly. We've started selling them to school systems, to museums. Um, and we're working with a number to have more home gaming environments. And this, this system, we've actually designed this system, it inflates in about 15 minutes, and it's really designed so that it can rapidly be taken down, taken around. If you have a, you know, a room in your house and you want to set it up so that you can play you know, Unreal or flight, flight Sims, that you could set it up pretty quickly and then rapidly tear it down. Yeah, it's a phenomenal screen, if nothing else. It's a tent, it's a screen, and a, and uh, and then there then you have software that uh, that you uh, is specifically designed for this environment. Exactly. I mean, we can really use any gaming engine. It's just a matter of putting in our uh, libraries into it so that it would project properly into spherical perspective. I mean, since the time of the Renaissance, we've been looking at media and you know painting as linear perspective but what this does is more naturally represent the ways that we perceive the visual field now, it looks like you have a standard off-the-shelf Epson uh, projector on here but it, you'd have to have some kind of tricked out lens on it wouldn't you exactly that's our omnifocus lens and we designed these lenses for a number of different off-the-shelf projectors so that we can project into just about any size dome up until about 60 feet and the lens itself is in focus at all points. So if I hold a piece of paper in front of that, you'd see that it's not only in focus on the screen, but everywhere else it's hitting. So it allows us to really easily create different size domes so that we can scale up to you know, any size or down to any size. Do you have as much detail in this as the Worldwide Telescope does? Uh, it's 
I don't know because I haven't seen the Worldwide Telescope in person, so I, I couldn't answer that. But there are immense amounts of data that's been collected over the past decade at the American Museum of Natural History represented here. I don't see why you couldn't put the Worldwide Telescope on this. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we'd very much. We actually, somebody from Microsoft was just in here, so we are talking about that for yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I mean, they're very complementary. You know, the Worldwide Telescope, it looks like a beautiful application that's going to really open up a lot of this data to people. And this particular application is meant to more zoom, not just zooming into pictures of galaxies, but being able to zoom around the universe in three and four dimensions. Here's our... Uh space station there. Oops, going really fast. And it's really meant to accommodate numerous types of data. Like right now we're mostly looking at you know astronomical data, but obviously here we're looking at a 3D model of the International Space Station. But we can turn on different layers, KML, WMS layers of Earth data. We can zoom in to any scale. We could zoom into the molecular scale. We don't have that in here right now. but. We can incorporate, uh, we already have incorporated uh, panoramic photos, so like pano bubbles, like QuickTime VR. We could zoom down under the Earth and do virtual field trips anywhere on the planet. Can you go inside the space station? Uh, no, not, we don't have that model in here right now. But How about the shuttle? Do you have a shuttle? Oh, we don't have the shuttle in here right now. We have different satellites. We have Cassini, okay. um, Voyager. Okay. Wow, this is incredible stuff. It's just amazing to watch. I'm sure that uh, our video won't even uh, begin to do it justice because it's uh, phenomenal in its uh, 3D effect. It's very immersive. It's uh, very impressive. Thank you very much. This is the outside of the structure. Quite impressive, very impressive. And this uh, device here must be the what's keeping it up. It's some kind of vacuum pump or something that's uh, inflating this uh, device.